All right, folks, it's about a quarter to one. This alfalfa is drying out severely. It's gonna be okay, but um, I tell you what, if I had to do over again, what I would have done is I would have started cutting last night at about six or seven instead of at about 1.30. No big deal, things are going pretty stinking good. I have no shame in showing this video to you. Even with some of you smarty pants out there, they're gonna pause this and count the bales. It doesn't matter, because I got a lot to go. A um, lot of adjustments. The last thing I made out of this baler, if I'm not mistaken, was sorghum. I knew I had to make adjustments anyway, but we're talking about a lot of them. I've adjusted the pressure three or four different times. Um, inside, outside. We're talking density here. Um, the pickup head, uh, I had to lower that twice, um, respectfully, without, without hitting the ground. I'm having to skim it, especially on a single row where I didn't rake them double. Uh, I'm going to maybe assume that this was one. There was a bunch of singles in here and this here. Um, that, of course, made me immediately uh, adjust the pickup head twice to be just a little bit lower. If I'm not mistaken, sorghum was the last thing to be done last year. So, therefore, you know, this is a whole different beast. Things are going pretty good. I did make a couple, a few funky bales in the beginning. It's just about getting the cobwebs out of the baler. That's my excuse. And density levels. Okay. Let's talk about these 54 inch bales. Because there's probably a, quite a few is saying, Ben, what the hell are you doing? You got a five foot baler, four by five, 48 by 60. Why in the hell are you making 54 inch bales? I hope that wind isn't uh, too bad here, folks. Seven or eight out of 10 customers in the last two years have been talking and asking, can I make them just a little bit smaller? Charge the same, we don't care. It's just, it's plain hell on pickup trucks. The common customer comes for one bale, if not two, with a half ton pickup and a smaller uh, trailer that's maybe fit for your lawnmower or something like that behind them. That's the common customer. Of course, then you got your boys with the tag trailers that take 10, 12, 15 at a time. The common customer's got a half ton pickup. It beats the hell out of the trucks. They're not happy about it. They got to take the old roads because things are just so heavy. That's number one. Customer comes first. This is also probably going to shrug a lot of people the wrong way. Not a lot, but maybe two, three, four people, especially the guys with the tag trailers. They might question the size of these. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell them exactly what I told you. Price doesn't change. It just, it is what it is. I, I don't know what to say. Um. Yeah. So I got the five foot baler, 60 incher. I'm making 54s. It's to appease the customers. I will be selling just as much of this stuff as I will be feeding out. Here's the other positive with the 54s. In a perfect world, there may or may not be some TMR feeding this winter. We'll see. Well, folks, at the most I'm going to feed is about 30 or 35 head. These 54 inch bales are easily 1200 pounds. Some of them will near 1300 to 1400 pounds. 14 is a little, that, that, that's a little too much. That's a lot of weight and that's a lot of feed. So all things considered, it proves to just make 54s, keep the customer happy. And then of course, when I go to feed this winter, if that's the case. Now what's gonna happen is there's gonna be two or three people this winter for hay sales, alfalfa baleage, that are gonna scream bloody murder and say something about the facts while you're making them smaller, you're trying to cheat us. 
That'd be the wrong thing to say to me. There's one thing I can't stand in this world. It's a bragger, liar, and a thief. There's old Jack Johnson and Tom O'Leary for you. <laughs> it's my humor for today. That's my explanation on the size of the bales. Whether I'm right or I'm wrong, that's what I'm doing. It'll make some people happy, most people. Other people are gonna shrug their shoulders. Learn at a very young age, you're not gonna keep everybody happy. There's always gonna be somebody out there to complain. That's okay with me. That's fine. All right, uh, I did just do a stop here before I started the video, after I kicked this guy out. You can see that oat stubble, eh? I don't know, we're gonna find out, folks. It's not too bad, but it is in there. I wanted to check the baler. Yes, I do have the lever. This is this is safety right now here, folks. This cannot come down. Um, very clean in there. Uh, hardly anything to speak of for buildup. You need to understand this is drying out significantly, though, um, to the point where we got to get going here in 30 seconds. I also had a rock little rock in the pickup head which is also going to be another product of this being first year new seeding alfalfa that's going to happen so yeah so Anywho, I kind of forgot to grab a lunch when I was home when I brought the rake home. What are you going to do? You caught me drinking a soda, which is not often. It's usually water or Gatorade in the summer. Okay, so let's get rolling here. Put your clutch in. PTO. I finally this year hooked up the hydraulics for the head. And I cannot, I don't know what it takes to make that go down a little bit slower. It likes to bang down. I, I can't control it. I've messed with the hydraulics doesn't matter so we're gonna bump this up to 540 540 530 and I am bailing these uh, two rows put together this is one of them I'm bailing this stuff in uh, B2 when I get on the singles, I jack her right up to B3.
Sorry about the shakiness, folks. One hand. Yeah, this is still going to make some good alfalfa silage, baleage silage, whatever you want to call it. But um, she's drying out. It'll be all right. I get to gab and look what I did. The first small beep is a warning. It says you got about four or five more inches before the bale's packed. That long beep tells you it's done wrapped. And away we go again. It gives you a nice beep there when the door closes. It says go ahead and keep going. Oh, we got a bald eagle right there. Well, I hope that's good luck. All right, folks, I got to get this in. Stay tuned for some more videos, picking up these bales and wrapping them. Talk to you sooner and later.